Hey, TD superheroes. My name is Alejandro Perez, and I am your sidekick. Here inside of this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is that we have a base character head here that we're going to be working on. But we also have a whole bunch of blend shapes that are hidden right now. So if we select these and go to display, show, show selection, you'll see we have a whole bunch of blend shapes that have been created for this character. I'm going to hide them again. I just did control H on the keyboard to hide them. So. I want to be able to export all of these and put them into individual files so that way I can send them out to a team of modelers that are going to work on these blend shapes. So let's take a look at how we can do that rather than just going file export selection and just doing that individually. So we're going to write a Python script. Let's import maya.cmds as mc. So that just brings in maya commands so that way we can use them inside of our Python script. Now we're going to base this off of a selection so that way we can select a range of objects. So let's create a variable. Let's create a variable called cell. And that is going to be equal to mc.ls sl equals true. So what this means is we're taking my command, creating a list, a list from selected. And let's test if this works properly by doing a print statement and we're going to print cell. So here we get access to each individual shape that we want to export. So that's great. Okay, and then I don't need to print this anymore because I know that's working. Now we want to be able to iterate through each one of these items. So we're going to create a for loop. So for object in cell. And then let's just do mc.set adder obj plus and then we're going to do a string dot v so we're going to adjust the visibility just to see if this is working and then right now we'll set it to one so basically this is going to go through the selection for each object in the selection we're going to set an attribute of the visibility and we're going to set it to one so the object is defined by each item in the list there. Let's take this and run it. We didn't have anything selected, so let's make a selection and let's run this. There we go. Now everything is turned visible. So we know that we are selecting and changing everything. And then I'm going to make it back invisible. So that's good. I'm going to maybe do that so I'm gonna turn it the visibility on when we're exporting it and then when we're done we can make it zero okay so now we need to know what our workspace is I haven't set a workspace in here so that's basically going ahead and creating a set project and go to CGI nerd Projects, face rig, set, create default workspace. So now up here, let's take a look at creating a variable for the path for the workspace. So path equals, and then we're going to print path to test this. But what it equals to is going to be mc workspace and let's look at the command documentation for workspace active create directory rule full name list network object 
root directory. So that's what we want is to know where the root directory for our project is. And we can see that it is queryable. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to say root directory equals true query equals true. So let's run that. And here when it prints, you can see that it gives us the path for our file. So now we want to be able to export that file. Let's go mc.file and let's look at the command documentation for file. So here we can see we have export selected items export selected so that would be a good way to do it we'll want to select the actual object so that way we can do that rather than having it export everything all at once because we want individual files and let's look at some example code so file rename save true that's not really what we want we want to be able to export so we can open. Well, it's going to be something like this. And then we're going to say export selected equals true. I don't see really quickly an exact example here, but that should work for us. We'll try that. So we want the path. So we know we have this variable of the path. And then if we just put the path, it's going to um, not necessarily save it exactly the way we want it. So let's go in and say plus. And then we're going to say underscore plus obj plus dot obj. I want to export an OBJ file. And then we can do export selected equals true. I believe there's something we have to do to get the actual file type. But let's comment this out really quick and just see what this is giving us. So I'm going to copy this and I put an E. I'm going to want to actually comment. And what I'm going to do is say print. So that way we can see what we're actually getting here for each object. So let's go ahead and select all the objects. And we can see that it's giving us a path with the file name and file extension that we want to save out to. Okay. So that is what that piece of code is doing for us. So let's do this and then let's look at the oops, command documentation one more time. I want to look at the file type. So type right here, string obj. That's what we want. So it is typ. And while I'm here, I want to also say export say ES. I want to make sure that I'm using the right shorthand. Yeah, export selected is ES. Okay, so TYP is going to be the type and we're going to do OBJ. So we're doing export selected. Let's expand this so we can see a little bit more. And just so that way we can see this really quick, a little bit easier going to separate into different lines. Okay, so TYP is going to be equal to OBS or OBJ, sorry. There we go. So we're exporting the selected and exporting against the OBJ. So we need to select the object mc.select OBJ and now with this, this we should get it be getting close if we're not done here. Let's test this. So we got an error on line 10. 
I could not save that file. Let's try FBX. Okay. Oh, okay, I see I see what's going on. Let's try this again. Let's do OBJ the way we had it. And OBJ. I didn't have anything selected. Oh, I did have one thing selected, so it should have worked. Let's try this. Okay, let me pause this and see. And I'll come back with the reason this isn't working. Okay, I think I found the solution. So inside of the documentation we saw that it was able to be obj but what we need is obj export and let's try this and let's select all the objects we want to export you can see that it's working through all of them now there we go so let's go find that file we have this pc d drive cgi nerd projects face rig and we have all of these files. It's doing the MTL and the OBJ because when you export an OBJ, it will give us the MTL with it. Let's make this a little bit more organized. So let's say I want to put a folder with blend shapes. So that way we have all the blend shapes in a specific folder. All we have to do is over here with the path is let's actually let's print path again. And then I'm just going to run this part so we can see that we have the slashes for each folder separating them. So what I am going to do is over here, we're going to say slash blend shapes and plus so right now the folder doesn't exist but because we're adding this here and let's add a slash there at the end so that way it matches that because the files are going to go inside of the blend shapes so if it doesn't exist it's going to create it so let's try this now here we have all of these Let's see. Let's try one more time. So it's not liking it again. I cannot see the file. I thought it would create it, but since it's not creating it, let's create that folder over here. Folder. Blend. Shapes. Okay, so we have that folder now. And then let's select all of these blend shapes. Now we can see that it's working now that that folder exists. So that's a good catch if you are running into that issue. We can see that that's something that we have to do to make sure that the path exists. So here, and we can see that we have all of the materials and the OBJ files for us. And they're exported so that way we can work with them individually for our modelers. Alright, that is it for this video. I hope you found this useful. We'll see you guys in the next one.